Greetings, Grapple fans. It's Mike Quackenbush here on your Free Match Monday with, get this, a free match for you. Let's head to Supremacy, our season 16 finale event, and take a look at singles action between Officer Warren Barksdale and Jeremy Leary from the Logan Square Auditorium. You'll find all of season 16 is available right now for unlimited streaming over at Chikaratopia.com. Mike Quackenbush here at Commentation Station. Supremacy rolls on. It's the season 16 finale, and singles action is about to take center stage. The bell has sounded, and Jeremy Leary comes charging in on Officer Warren Barksdale, only to be met with an arm drag, make it a pair of them. And a big hip toss by Officer Warren Barksdale. That drop kick was on the money, and Jeremy Leary, who started off hot and heavy, is already outside the ring, begging for a timeout. Referee P.J. Drummond administering the count here. If anybody would understand exactly how the rules function and why, I would bet it's Officer Warren Barksdale, the long arm of the law here at Chikara. Oh boy, Leary swung wild with that one. Now he's getting strung up in the top strand. He was gone. He was gone in a heartbeat. Jeremy Leary is doing a very smart thing here in attempting to slow down the momentum that Officer Warren Barksdale had coming right out of the gate. He was able to string together a pair of arm drags, a hip toss, and a drop kick. Really had Leary flustered. You know, there's certain types of wrestling fans they call for blood. Here at Chikara, the most that they could possibly want is to see someone's hair messed up. Finally, Leary back up on the apron. Looks like he's coming in the hard way. <laughs> Barksdale flung him about into mid-ring. Oh, just fired away, a little rapid punch there. Kind of hit him in the abdominals. Leary's trying to set him for the ride. Barksdale right underneath. Woo! Cross, but he's got him. Man, he picked up a near fall over Leary. He had a lot of speed behind that crossbody. Leary's doing everything he can here to protect the hair that he is obviously very, very proud of. I suppose it's not a bad idea to be checking a man for a foreign object. 
especially when you're in there with a character the type of Jeremy Leary. Well. Well, P.J. Drummond's saying he did check him in the back, and some referees do prefer to do that rather than take up time in the ring. Uh, each referee has their own style. <laughs> well, I don't like where this is headed. There was once a time known as the 1980s, kids, and although wrestling matches were never solved in that matter, sometimes music videos were. Looks like a neckbreaker is coming. Short one, fought up with a DDT. That combination move right there made famous by the late, great Larry Sweeney. 68 comeback special. Neckbreaker followed by a DDT. It has obviously taken its toll on Officer Warren Barksdale. Ooh, followed up with a coconut crush. That's a rare one you don't see done very often anymore. Andre the Giant brought that around North America and Japan, popularized by Giant Baba. A little bit of a wash kick down the skull of Officer Warren Barksdale. Look at the expression on Leary's face now. Oh, ran down the apron and put the boot in the mush. Nothing pretty about it, but you bet it was effective. And Bark still having a really hard time getting his wits back about him after Leary came right at him. All of his offenses centered right on the head. The DDT, of course, attacking the head, those kicks, the coconut crush, and now just landing a couple punches there. Obviously, Leary's got a target. He's going to go after the head of Barksdale. Kicked him right on the kneecap. Oh, but a one footed drop kick on the head found the mark. Jeremy Leary doing a really effective job, sticking to his offensive strategy. And Chikami is really having a good time this evening at Supremacy, and why not? It's the first time we've ever brought the season finale to Chicago, but we are always greeted so warmly by all the members. Whoa! Of the Chikami, great looking move here. What's Leary thinking? Oh. Side saddled right into a super kick. Woo! Very, very close that time. All this head centric offense is starting to pay off for Leary. Each one of these near falls getting a little bit longer in the count. And Drummond's even checking in with Barksdale Knight right now to make sure he is still in this contest. He's gotten drilled in the head now at least seven times. But Barksdale, boy, he is resilient, isn't he? Look at him fighting back, trying to get back to his vertical base. There's no quit in this guy. Fagel's looking power slam. Jeremy Leary with a confident look in his body, in his face. Woo! And another really long two there from P.J. Drummond. This one was just a heartbeat away from being over. But Officer Warren Barksdale fights on. What else does Leary have up his sleeve? Snap made him right into the center of the ring. I like the positioning on this one. Man, he's really picking up a head of steam. What's he looking for? Well, I was expecting something high speed, high impact, but what we got was quite the opposite. And I think Leary enjoying toying the expectations of the audience. Just wrenching away, of course, at the head. That's really become the theme of his offense. Leary's wrestling a very smart game tonight, and Barksdale better come up with a solution for it, or Leary is likely to make quick work of him. He's adapted this into a chin lock, now going to sap the energy. Officer Warren Barkdale is really in trouble. Trying him out some kind of comeback here. He threw a pair of elbows. Oh, he swung too high back that clothesline, and Leary's got him. Look at the way he changed that into a finger lace. And he's got a knuckle lock on both sides now. And Barksdale, unfortunately, broken all the way down to his knees.
Barksdale's managing to get back to his vertical base surely, steadily, but certainly. Oh. Didn't take long for Leary to bring that knee up into the bread basket. Going, looking for, oh, thought it was going to be monkey flip, at least the Mexican catapult here. Oh, look at that. Flew right up and, of course, once again, right on the head. Could this be all? Boy, boy, Barksdale has taken a number of blows, a lot of high-impact moves, all to the cranium. He could be knocked out if he's not careful. He's got to start to defend his head against the offense of Jeremy Leary, which up until this point in the match has really been spot on. Leary's hitting his offensive stride, and Barksdale has yet to come up with an answer. These last three minutes or so have been all Jeremy Leary. Put that closed fist right on the jaw, being warned by our referee. Up to the top turnbuckle he goes. What is Leary up to? Well, they're locked up like a superplex. This is a few ways he can come off that turnbuckle, come out of those ropes. He doesn't have long to do it here. You can hear, oh boy. Barksdale firing away, a couple shots to the ribs, starting to free himself. He's countered out of this predicament. And Leary crashes down off the bottom rope. This is Barksdale's opportunity, he's got to fly. Oh, but he did. Came leaping right out and took Leary down. But he took a whole lot out of Barksdale as well. Barksdale barely moving here. He's got to take a couple moments, take a few deep breaths, clear out the cobwebs, and go back to his game plan. Leary has managed to stay one step ahead of Barksdale, thus far for the majority of the contest. It's got to get back to where it was in the beginning. Barksdale has to dictate the pace. And he drove that back elbow right through the sternum. That one was more on the jaw. Barksdale ducked right underneath. Waist lock. Oh, he took him over with a short German suplex. No bridge on that one. It was all impact. Will this be enough to put Leary away? Only good for two. And off the one, Barksdale with an incredulous look crossing his face. I think he needs to string together two, three more moves in a row like he's been doing. Looking to scoop him up. Wow. Took everything he had to turn that body slam over. You could see he really strained his lower back to do it. Officer Warren Barksdale, he likes the big splash from here. Cease and desist. Oh! He went flying right into the knees and shins of Jeremy Leary, and that will rob you of your breath. He'll knock the air right out of your lungs and possibly crack a rib as well. Now I think Leary wants to put him to sleep. Leary saying nighty night time. He put him right on his feet, threw that KO punch, but I think this might have been a mistake. And Leary turning his back to Officer Warren Barksdale is definitely a mistake. Should have jumped on top and capitalized while he had the chance. And instead, I think, he's only raised the ire of Officer Warren Barksdale. <laughs> oh, it's a <laughs> Jeremy Leary, what a mistake you have made, partner. Barksdale just flapjacked him. Well, this is what happens when you raise the ire of Officer Warren Barksdale, Jeremy Leary. You might have spent a good chunk of the match perfectly quaffed, but no more. And if Barksdale can start to string some things together here. Oh, off to the side, Northern Lights, bomb. No, look at Leary, great job there. Finding his way to avoid a pinning predicament. I, I gotta say, I'm really impressed with the strategy of Jeremy Leary. He might bring a somewhat despicable attitude to the ring with him. He might not have the most pleasant disposition, but as an in-ring tactician, he's really impressed me today. Off the word, Barksdale had started to get the upper hand, and once again, Leary's managed to interrupt his flow. I think Barksdale really needs to go outside the ring. I think he's got to go chase Leary. He's got to find a way to resume the pace that he had. Officer Warren Barksdale, one of the relative rookies on the roster. Oh, 
Okada roll. His shoulders are stacked up. Oh, and a handful of trunks. Well, I was admiring what Jeremy Leary was doing to a point. I don't want to call that smart wrestling so much as taking advantage of the referee's blind spot. He had a handful of the tights on that O'Connor roll. Big win today at Supremacy for Jeremy Leary.